if you don't have pc or if you don't have pc if you don't have laptop if you don't have desktop and you need to use adb commands then you can use this very easily with the help of an android app called ladb and yes this is quite useful honestly how it will work for you and how you can install this thing on a device that's actually quite interesting i'll talk about this later on how this will work this is what matters you don't have pc of course but you need to use some adb commands to use an android app in this video make sure to watch this video i will tell you about how you can paste to the adb commands the shell commands first of all make sure you have developer options enabled how to enable that make sure google.com is there you need to enable usb debugging that's necessary another thing which you need to enable is wireless debugging so make sure to enable this option click on allow you are done now make sure your device has a split screen option which also matters so if you open ladb for the first time you'll see this kind of thing move on to settings option click this icon and you'll see the split top if you're using android 12.1 the things might be different in your case make sure you're using split screen in simple words if you move on to the wireless debugging option you'll see the option called pair device with pairing code okay this is what you need to keep in mind and here you need to write the port the port which i just saw here let me show you maybe i forgot about that 42207 no it's 42027 you can simply see where from where i got this code as you can see ip address and port the last five digits and the pairing code you are seeing on the screen right now 010569 and click on ok as you can see it's done you are able to see the success message it was very easy to implement it it was very easy to set up ladb on your device and as you can see it's done now for example i need to use i need to put an adb command and which adb command i'm going to use okay this is the app which we have right now i'm just taking this as an example so make sure this is the app which i'm using and as you can see this needs an adb command and of course if needs an adb command you need pc and in, unfortunately i don't have pc right now so how i could provide the adb command to it i can simply use this app called ladb as you can see on off nothing is gonna happen because i haven't pasted any command here so far if i move on to the ladb option this is the command which i have right now already make sure to keep this thing in mind you don't need adb shell the full command is like adb shell but don't need that if i move on and restart that once you are saying granted the adb permission has been granted and very easy to grant this permission with just your android device no need of pc no need of laptop no need of desktop nothing this helps very interestingly and this app might be very good choice for you you definitely need to install this thing and very simple tutorial and i think so you got this thing and what i was saying you don't need you don't need the command like adb shell that's already there you need the else command like pm etc 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 i think you got my point link and everything is already there in the description this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this tutorial make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe the channel i'll see you next video goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through